So I ordered some new Chinese titanium bolts. So then I'll start, you know, changing out my bolts. So I'm saying the wrong time. We're gonna see which one. Where could it go? <laughs> Where could it go? So this is an exhaust. Yeah, it's exhaust. So that's it a is motor a mount. So motor mount, it should be able to do that because motor mount is just an open hole underneath it. Mm. Just put anesthes on it so, so, that, so it can't corrode. Mm -hmm. you know? Motor mount will work. Motor mount them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll probably exhaust, have to order more because that's... Exhaust, you'll have to, uh, you'd have to cut it to... Mm. It's pushing it because you get in the shank. Shank. Yeah, because your, your, your mouth was probably not enough. For, I think you'd bottom out it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that would work for motor mount. And then should <clears throat> as long as this isn't longer than the but you have that thick washer you know that goes right here is this or are you talking about these motor mounts i don't know these are safe those go in the hole probably can't be any longer okay yeah with that thick washer that would work right there <laughs> okay these if, if, they, if these are those they probably can't be any longer because you know, those inserts aren't really so deep. Yeah. You want to break one? Yeah, that's what we're doing. So how are you going to do this? I guess I will uh, torque it, and then whatever. I think this thing should, like, keep counting until it breaks, and I should be able to look at it and just see. Very scientific. Very scientific. How are you going to hold it? Uh, nice. Are you going to hold it with threads or something? Yeah. Uh, To the vice. Which vice? The spinch one or the wood one's fine? I think it'll withhold it. The punishment? One million pounds. Let's see, I got 10 of them for like $24, so we're about That's to break. That's crazy cheap. That's how much I paid for the dumb washers, those black oxide, oxide washers. So. That seems pretty scientific. Yeah. There's a lot of thought going behind this. I think I've got the nut so tight, it might have a little bit of load. Oh, it still spins. Okay. So, I mean, traditionally these bolts are torqued to 13, so I mean, it should handle that just fine. Yeah. Hmm, easy. Okay. I'll just go ahead and I don't know what it'll take. 40? I don't think it'll make it that far. You don't think it make it 40? I don't know. I doubt it, though. Now, what's going to happen? Is it going to break? Yeah, it's just going to break. Which my gauge should start reading less once it starts to break. Mm -hmm. All right, there's 20 foot pounds. I suppose these are grade five titanium. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, but they are from Chinesium. Yeah. That's that country, not in ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Yep. Numbers flattening out. The 22. Now I see we're going backwards. It's about to snap. Well, I say that. <gasps> it's just see it's not gaining though yeah it's just kind of going all over the place so 20 23 i think is about the most it saw man this thing has a lot of stretch in it something's given 
Something's given? Yeah, but I don't know what. We'll check it out. 23. Just costs like 23, 23. Nope. 24. Yeah, but you know, we should be way. Something's stretching. Something's stretching inside there. Maybe these are smashing? Oh, not that much. I think the whole bolt, because it's so long, I bet it's probably stretching. Do you want to take it apart for a break? No, break shit out of it. We're going for broke. Well, I mean, not going to use it regardless. No, but yeah. I was just. Oh, 25. We're going 26. for broke. What the hell? Maybe you. I'm, I'm thinking those are just smashing together. Man, I wouldn't think so. Something. We'll break it apart and look at it. To give that much. 27. Now we're going backwards again. 24. 23. 22. Okay, maybe it'll break now. 22. 20, 19, 18, 17. <laughs> it's loosening itself. That's funny. 10, 9, 8, 7. 14. Yeah, because that, that is the max. Okay, now we're just spinning. I think we're stripped. So we got up to 24, 23. Uh, so the the first time I felt it where it kind of pegged out was like 23, 24. And then it did eventually get up to 28, but I don't know what was up with that, but it took a while. But they're able to hold where we're putting them. Yeah, I mean, we're putting them at uh, 13, 13. So they can hold another 10 on top of that. Um, my hands are greasy. Can you turn off? Yeah. 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 It's, it looks like it's going to take forever to get them off there. I don't know what's see if it's in there. Speed of the process? Mm -hmm. If it even comes apart again. <laughs> I don't know how titanium, like how it normally. It ain't happy. <laughs> it ain't happy. What pulled out? The nut failed. The, the bolt's fine. The bolt's fine. The bolt's fine? Yep, it's a nut. Pulled threads. Wow, feel how hot that is. Yeah, it was hot. So that's what was giving. It was smashing because this was a locker nut. We smashed it and just pulled all the threads out. So this is good for even more than what we did. That's not good for. Her. Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> that's... I was a little worried about this stuff. Like. And that's why it's so hard coming back out because it, uh... Yeah, it smashed the threads inside it. Yep. Is that the threads inside it right there? Yeah, that's that's from the nut. This thing's hot. Hmm. Well, I have a newfound, uh... Well, I didn't really have much of a opinion on titanium, but... It's like it's... What do you say? It's And that was steel? That's steel. We need a higher grade bolt than that. Nut? Yeah, nut. So, seeing what happened here. So, but this could have been when I was impacting it back off. See, it's golded, broke off one. Yeah, one of the. Yeah. But, and you know, it flattened the threads a little bit, but uh, it's far from breaking. Huh. So, you'd say it's probably a grade five? Well, I don't, I've never messed yeah. with that, but it just pulled the threads out of steel. So, we need a higher grade nut. Just pull the vibranium out. So what you're telling me is I need to get a grade 5 titanium nut. <laughs> see, who, see who fails first. So, yeah, these are grade 8 eights. So I wonder if the, uh, I'm not going to try to line up quite the same way. I was thinking if you could hold on to them to share the threads through both of them. But what's going to happen with one being loose, it's just going to pull on that one. Mm. Until it gives a little bit, then pull on the other one. <laughs> Try it. Why not? Hey, we'd like to see if we can break those bolts. I mean, I've never, I've never even gotten this kind of test on the same thing. But I always 
Most bolts when I ever mess with them, it's a damn bolt that breaks off. And you have stuck bolts or whatever. We need more washers to get further down on the thread. More washers? Yeah. These are uh, fine thread, 5 sixteenths. Hell, if, so if a these stainless. Threads, if these threads could hold a mud field, oh dang it! What? We miss washers. <laughs> so, so what would that be? Do you know what it would possibly be rated at if it was a? Uh... I will tell you right now. Now these are numbers for uh, not snapping the bolts off either. Okay. Uh, this is number eight. Well, hell, it should be able to handle way up there. Then. Uh, a 12.9, which is the highest grade they make, can handle 29 foot-pounds. 29. A grade 8 steel or stainless? Grade 12.9 steel. 12.9 steel. Yeah, that's the highest grade they make. Can handle 29, is that what I said? 29. So, this should be able to handle 29. Maybe. I don't know. I, I know it's stronger than stainless, but stainless is weaker than a grade 12.9. Like I said, this isn't really ideal because they're not going to be pulling together. But once that one slips, maybe it'll get enough threads to keep going. It kind of well prepared that one <laughs> a little bit. I just wish we could get it to failure. Yeah, no, snap. <laughs> like, it might be able to fold. Uh, yeah, I'll get it. Get a little closer. Twenty one, twenty six, seven, eight. It hasn't slipped yet. Thirty. Thirty. I think it's starting to slip. Yeah, it's starting to slip. Going backwards? I can just feel it slipping, you know, that, that feeling. So my question is, what's, what's given up? The bolt. The bolt! Finally, that's what I was <laughs> looking for. So, uh, about 31. 31 foot-pounds. So it, weird looking on the inside. two nuts to be able to... Get to it. Of course, one of those nuts might have, because they're a higher grade than that. But, uh... But look where it, look where it broke though. It broke where that screwed up thread was. Or it was already weakened. Mm hmm Hmm. So, but what, what did we say? 12.9 was, of course that, that's max, max torque for that a, uh, 29. 29. Is what a 12.9 can handle. Of course, I don't know what that means for, like how much further can you go past that till it breaks? 30? Yeah. I doubt it. It could probably handle a little more than that, but. Well, now you know. It can handle 30, 31, and we just need it to handle 13. 13. It'll be so, fine. So it'll be just fine. Yeah. Kosher. Yeah, because I was too worried that, worried these things would, you know, be... Cheap Chinese. Too weak. That would be interesting to see what an American-made grade 5 can handle. Huh? Well, I'm just, I'm just glad we got to break. Yeah. Yeah, that threads right off. One does too. He's a lot better nuts. Yeah. Third grade eight nut. Yeah. It it didn't get into this one. It only got into that one. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.